Good evening. Thanks for having us in. I'm Jessica Moore. Bunting now hangs across the firehouse where firefighter William Moon spent his final hours. He was critically hurt preparing for a drill on Monday and now sources tell CBS 2 firefighter Moon will be taken off life support tomorrow. CBS 2's Christina Fan has more on how his colleagues paid tribute to a man who is giving back even in death. A solemn morning at Rescue 2 as firefighters honored 47-year-old William Moon, putting up purple bunting at the firehouse where he fatally fell. Among the crowd, his 8-year-old son, draped in his father's bunker jacket, alongside his mother and sister, hugging one another as the chaplain led them in prayer. He will be an inspiration for all of us for years to come. Moon was preparing for a drill Monday morning when he fell 20 feet, suffering serious head injuries. When it became clear he would not survive, his family made the decision to donate his organs. Saturday night, hundreds of FDNY members, including the commissioner, lined the streets, saluting Moon as he was taken from Kings County Hospital to NYU Langone for the procedure. We've lost the perfect human being. Uh, Billy was a selfless warrior who gave the gift of life in this life and the hereafter. The ultimate Santa Claus bringing life to people at Christmas. The Long Island native dedicated his life to firefighting, starting off as a 19-year-old volunteer in Islip. He then served the Queens community for 21 years out of Ladder 133. Earlier this year, he was recruited to join Rescue 2, a highly elite force specializing in emergency rescues. His captain, Liam Flaherty, says Moon quickly won everyone's respect. As far as a firefighter, I would describe Billy as a lion on the fire ground. If you're having the worst day of your life, you would want Billy Moon riding on that fire truck over there. If I was trapped in a burning building or in a collapse, I'd want Billy coming for me. Now, even in death, he continues to uphold his oath to lay down his life for others. His donation, someone else's second chance at life. In Brownsville, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.